okay, there's still, there's signs of dead squirrels. Let me slow down. So, got the entrails of a dead squirrel and more entrails of a dead squirrel. All right, everyone, welcome back. All right, making my gloves on. Go check out the uh, Santa breakfast sign. Surprised they're even trying to do it, but maybe it's a grab and go. And you just take some pictures with Santa next to your car kind of thing. I think I read about it in the newsletter they have that are out here. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Enjoyed the view out here. I wanted to use the scope, but... Uh, I'd have to move all the stuff in the bask in the bag. There it is. Santa Breakfast 2020. But I think it's just a uh, like a little photo op here. You, you you pick up your your breakfast. You take a photo op with Santa. Maybe some social distancing, and then you go. I went uh, maybe three or four years ago with my youngest. We actually came here for some, well, we came here for the free photo. The photo doesn't cost anything. The, the, the breakfast costs about This costs about $25, but uh, or $15, whatever it was. And we took a picture of Santa. My youngest was very, very happy. I think I still got the picture of it on the refrigerator somewhere. Anyways, uh, I had hot chocolate. I had hot chocolate and. Uh, enjoy it very much. I brought my own cup, my own Keurig, hot chocolate Keurig. Got to stop. There's no stop sign for these guys passing by. There's a stop sign for me. Finally put in some stop signs here. All right. Building homes out here. You want a house? Come on down. It's really nice out here. It doesn't snow in the winter. Well, it did snow maybe two or three times since I've been here, but it doesn't snow very often or even at all. All right, my legs are burning right now. I think I'm getting a good burn on my legs. We got a headwind. My eyes, my eyes are watering just a little bit. Ooh, a lot of headwind. Anyways, one of the things I did do is take some allergy medication, some antihistamine. So I took some yesterday, took some this morning, just so, just so I won't get a runny nose. It's annoying. You're riding around, you got a runny nose. Ah, uh, pain, pain in the nose. <laughs> pain in the nose. So. I didn't think I would get uh, a runny nose or any allergy, but there's still a lot of vegetation out here. Some of them do pollinate in the winter out here in the south. So just took some and yeah, no runny nose. Amazing. My eyes are getting teary right now from the wind. But 
for the most part, my hands are good. My feet are good. I'm just wearing some cotton uh, sweatpants. I got it at uh, Puma. On T-Mobile Tuesday, got it like 40% off or something. So, my wife bought it for me. Isn't that sweet? my youngest to uh, her elementary school but uh, they stopped doing that a long time ago a long time ago so so they stopped doing that uh, well they stopped school and we haven't gone back to school it's been a year but in the mornings, it would get down in the 30s, sometimes below, anything below 40. Yeah, we we would wear a balaclava. I take my youngest on the rewrite co-pilot on the uh, mini step through. Yeah, it would get cold. But that's the only time I ever used it in the morning. I would put one on her. I would wear one, and uh, that's how I would. Uh, take her to school. We, we took the electric bikes in the morning. It was a short ride. It was like maybe five to ten minute ride, so it wasn't that bad. But nobody's going to school. They're all taking uh, online. Everyone's taking online classes, so no, uh, I got no word of bike in the morning, so that's the only time I ever wore a ball with ball. Sometimes, if it gets really cold, I'll, uh, I'll wear one, but it doesn't, it doesn't get that cold throughout the whole day. Like right now, it's probably like a good 65 degrees with the wind blowing, it feels colder, low humidity. So, you know, it feels like 65 instead of 75 or 85 when it's 65 degrees outside. So I'm feeling good. This is just about right. things I try to do is I try to keep uh, my fingers warm so but I didn't double glove it this is the right amount and my neoprene boots I want to keep my toes warm but I keep pedaling so I'm burning up energy that creates heat that creates good blood flow. Your blood flow reaches out to the end of your fingers, your toes. You get warm. And plus I'm wearing black, so if I want to... If I'm too cold, I'll just stop someplace and duck into uh, a shallow valley out here. Where I can enjoy the sun rays and no wind. I'll ride slower and, and my black clothing starts warming up. So wear dark clothing and you'll warm up. That uh, feels really good. I'm not sweating. I'm not sweating at all. The cool wind is actually cooling me down because I'm wearing the body armor. That insulates all the body heat, traps all the moisture too. You gotta be careful with your clothing. goodness one of my cameras is out probably my helmet my 
helmet out. I'll take care of it when I get on the other side. I think my helmet mount is out. Everything else is going. So, still having some camera issues. It says, uh, memory card is too slow. I don't know what that means. I got the fastest... The, the memory card I have has been working. I'm not sure what it is. There, I got a green light. Let me take care of it when I get to the other side. Sorry for the delay, everybody. Sorry for the delay. I'll try to... Try to get going again here soon. All right, I don't know what it is, but uh, everything's going. Everything's going, nothing stopped. Maybe it was my imagination. I just heard something. Anyways, let's just go. Let's just go. I'm already behind now. All right, oh, goodness. Push it with my legs, feeling the bird. Feeling the bird. All right. Oh, what a beautiful day. It's going to be like this for uh, the next three days. So hopefully I can get my ride in the next three days. Tonight I will be doing a, uh, a night ride because I'm going to test out the Sightmark Wrath. It's a night vision scope. I did a daytime test. I'm very happy. Hopefully I got the footage. I hope I got the footage. Jeez. That would suck fight if the, if the footage didn't come out. That would suck if the footage didn't come out. So I tested the ground here. It's pretty hard. Let's, no. <laughs> uh, I changed my mind. I got the, the sight mark scope in the basket up front. I don't want to damage it. It's heavy, so I don't want it bouncing in the bag. Otherwise, I would jump. Oh, look at the birds! Bird, bird! Bird, bird, bird! Whew. I don't know if there's going to be a Christmas deal. There wasn't really much Thanksgiving, Black Friday deals. Although I did get a telescope, a flashlight, and a uh, <laughs> night vision scope. But uh, in any case, let me slow down here. Because I don't know what's coming around the corner. It's hard to see. Okay. Got to be careful here. I learned the hard way. Learned the hard way. The grass is so yellow. That's what color turns. It's in hibernation. Anyways. I'm happy with my ride. Happy with the ride. Let's get it here. All right. That storage facility, it's getting built eventually. Feels like a year. I've been working on this thing for a year. Of course, the pandemic probably slowed them down quite a bit. They probably just had to stop working. Anyways, I'm just going to take the road from here. I inflated my tires. I inflated my tires. So, uh, all that are at 20 PSI, which is the recommended, which that's what I go with. So they should be good on the pavement. Theoretically, I should be a little slightly faster. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Let's get going. I like the grips. I'm happy I got the grips of the red, the red rover. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna go home now. 
gonna relax. I made some kolaches this morning. And so when I go back, have some kolache, be in the warm house. And then I'm gonna bundle up for tonight. Tonight should be like, probably by the time I leave, it'll be in the 50s. And overnight, like it doesn't get to the 40s until like maybe uh, 4, 3 to 4, up to 6 a.m. I'm not gonna stay. I'm not gonna be out that late or that early. Uh, I'm gonna come around six, right when the sun starts setting. I'm gonna test out the sight mark. Race, four by 32, I think four by 32. 50 millimeter. Let's see if the vultures are still here. Are the vultures still here or are they? <laughs> Yeah, I don't see any squirrels. I don't see a squirrel here. I don't see any squirrel on the road. <laughs> they ate them up. They just tore right into them. Uh, any signs of any dead squirrels? Uh, okay, there's still there's signs of dead squirrels. Let me slow down. So, got the entrails of a dead squirrel and more entrails of a dead squirrel. Okay, they made a quick meal out of them. So they left the skin, the tail, and the uh, the entrails, the intestines and internals, which probably they're not really interested in eating, but they, they ate everything else, man. Head is gone, arms, legs, upper body. Nothing but skin, tail, and entrails two squirrels all right pedaling at home Feeling good, feeling good. After the, the initial burn on your legs, you ride around a little bit, then you, you're feeling good. You're getting get some blood circulating through there. You feel like you can pedal a little bit more. Plus the electric motor helps. I'm sure it does. Oh man, it feels good. Hands are not cold, but they're not hot and toasty. They're just, they're okay. It's a little bit on the cooler side. My feet, they're good, they're doing good. Cotton socks, cotton sweatpants. I am wearing shorts underneath all this. My swimming trunks. Upper body feels good. The body armor protects me from the wind, so I don't feel, I don't feel the wind at all. Feeling good, feeling good. I'm gonna keep an eye on my rear view, make sure nothing sneaks up and crosses the line here. Get it. Get rim rat. Rim ratted. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little hot. I can feel my chest warming up. My bosom is warming up. I'll take this tree all the way home. That's just how I roll. 
uh, can't wait for the night ride. I probably won't go so fast. I'll head out to the sports park. Do a test on the uh, Sight Mark Night Vision Wraith. Academy Black Friday. It's the lowest end of their uh, Sight Mark Sight Mark brand. I think they have a 4K, but I'm not gonna pay no 600, 700 dollars for that. Anyways, I'll bring the uh, new flashlight, the rechargeable iProtect 5000 Lumen Flash flashlight. I'll bring that. My legs are getting a good workout. Still green. Uh, it's turned yellow. I'm gonna take the uh, sidewalk. Take the sidewalk. Take the sidewalk. There's a sherry. Oh. Oh. All right. I heard something stop, but there's no point. At this point, there's no point in stopping. I'm almost home. I heard one of the cameras stop. There's a car to the left, or to the left side of me. I saw it, I saw it. I saw my rear view mirror. I saw it slow down too, so gotta watch out for that. Watch out for signs like that. All right, I'm, a, I'm getting a little sweaty. I have to admit, I'm getting sweaty now from all that pedaling. It's gonna feel good when I take a little break. Let me just throttle. Ooh, home stretch throttling. All right, please like, share, comment. Let me know what you all think. Watch out for my sight mark videos. I'll probably be using that more often. I think it's fun. It comes with a video recorder. Wish it came with a sound. Here I come, coming in hot, 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 and oh, all right, let's stop the bike, stop the bike, oh, perfect, oh. <sighs> <Woo>. <laughs> bye.